G'day budgies and widgies. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you didn't see the last video that I made, I actually went on to livefish.com.au for an amazing online aquarium store. And in that video, we kind of went through their website, had a bit of a browse of the amazing fish that they had. And I kind of gave a hint about what I was going to purchase. But in today's video, we're actually going to see what I got, why I got them, and introduce them to their respective aquariums. Now, I wanna say a massive thank you to livefish.com.au because they were like, hey, Bodgy, we love the new video that you made. Let us send you a little gift card and you can put the fish on there. So they did sponsor this video and I'm really grateful for that. So we've got a lot of amazing fish in stock. Let's open them and see what we got. But to open these boxes, we're gonna need a knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. In all seriousness, I gotta say the packaging on these boxes is really great. Um, these are polystyrene boxes, they're really thick and that means that they can keep the heat in the boxes as well. So if you're getting tropical fish, it's not gonna be a worry. The boxes are all taped really, really well and yeah, everything is really good. I'm really happy with that. So let's open them up. One more thing I want to point out is the bag came with a heat pack, which means that the fish, the internal temperature of the box is going to be maintained really well. And this heat pack is still very, very warm. So with that being said, let's get into this box. I haven't actually seen what's in here yet, so it's going to be a massive surprise, but let's get into it. Cool. All right, first fish. I'm, I'm really, really excited for this. But um, cool, first fish. What is this? Oh, this is the little um, Pakistani loach, or the, the reticulate loach. Now, what I'm gonna do is like film all of this and then I'll bring the camera up close, show you guys all of the fish, but um, we'll just capture my initial reactions for the time being. That's so cool. And he's got amazing colors as well. I uh, love that. Now, we actually have two boxes, so that's really cool. Okay, next bag. Oh, these are the Widow Tetris. That's so cool. And they came in at such a big size as well. They look great. These guys are actually gonna go into the five foot. Um, but, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> next, next, we have to keep moving. Oh, crikey. Um, okay, so these are two uh, firetail gudgeons that I got. And I got these guys just because I wanted to see how they were. And these are kind of like a bottom dwelling fish. And I thought they'd be really cool in a nano tank. But yeah, that. All of the fish have come in in a really good size. So yeah, this guy is chunky. Cool, and they're all doing well. So um, we'll set this guy aside. Okay, next bag. Oh, this is the Bolivian ram. Okay, I actually got two Bolivian rams. And this guy is huge. That's such a great size. Now this guy, I'm gonna put in the nano tank, let him grow out, and then um, we'll move him to the five foot once he gets a little bit bigger. But that's so cool. Next fish. This is one of the four croaking gouramis that I purchased. This guy looks awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll see what's next. Oh, I think this is another ram. I believe so. Yes, this is another Bolivian ram. Oh, super excited for these guys. So they look really cool. Oh, <laughs> that looks awesome. Now this here is actually a silver gourami. I ordered this guy for the big, the five foot aquarium, just cause I think having like a massive silver, really eye catching fish in there would look awesome. So yeah, he came in at such a great size. All of these fish are really healthy. You can see, if you look up close, um, you can see that his two like antenna feeler things, they're still intact and, and really good. So he's looking awesome. That there is the first bag done. I mean, first box done, and we'll open up the second box and see how everything is. So this is the second box. We'll get this open and I'll get back to you guys. These boxes are absolute units. They're so thick. That's like at least one inch thick polystyrene. And we've got another heat pack on this as well. That's really warm. That's so cool. Awesome. So this here is the last bag of fish that we've got. Um, this here, I believe, is another croaking gourami. These guys are so cute. They're absolutely adorable. And they're so tiny. I love them. Okay, so the croaking gourami. Next one is another croaking gourami. I actually did get four of these guys. And croaking gourami, awesome. 
So box uh, box two was all croaking garamis. Really happy. So now that we've done the unboxing part of the video, let's have a look at all the fish closer and why I got them. Okay, so I've got all the fish lined up on my workbench. Now these fish are all for the nano aquarium and these two are for the big five foot tank. So I'll explain why I got all of the fish just really quickly. Now the Black Widow Tetras, I bought 10 and I got these guys because I thought if we had a really nice school of Black Widows, it would just look really phenomenal in the five foot because we've got a lot of like flashy, colorful fish, but to have something that's kind of like a solid black against white would be really phenomenal in the, in the five foot. Next fish in the five foot I got was this beautiful silver gourami. I got this guy because silver gouramis kind of get pretty big in the gourami family. These two fish for the five foot. Now for the nano aquarium. Now some of these fish are kind of going to be grown out in the nano tank and then we're going to move them to the five foot. But basically we've got two Bolivian rams. So there's one and there's the other. These guys came in at a really, really great size. So I'm super stoked about that. And they're going in the nano tank because these guys get super colorful. They're a little bit stressed out, which is to be expected. But once they color up really nicely, they look stunning. And to have these guys just like a pair in the five foot would be really cool. Um, I got these two little guys, which are fire tail gudgeons. These were kind of an experiment. I've never kept these guys before and I wanted to just try them out. So I got these two. These are at a really amazing price on livefish.com and I love the way that they look. Um, the next fish was this really cute Pakistani loach. Now, this guy's gonna get grown out in the five, uh, in the nano tank, sorry, and then we'll move him into the five foot once he gets bigger. But I really love loaches. In the video, I said that they're like a big Corydora, and these guys have really amazing colors and stripes on them. So he's going in the nano tank. Um, and then we've got the four croaking gouramis. Now, I just wanted a little bit more life in the nano tank, and as you can see, this guy is super active but yeah i just these guys get really nice color and they just look stunning so i wanted them so i put uh these four in the nano tank but let's get to acclimating all of these fish introduce them and we'll take it from there look how they've tied them so they've used these kind of wire like things and it's just like sealed the bag completely shut so water can't leak out if it even if it wanted to and air is still fully in the bag so i'm really stoked about that Okay, so all the fish for the nano aquarium are now in the bucket. The water is slowly dripping in. We'll just let that sit and just go for it for a good solid like half an hour to 40 minutes. Really let them uh, kind of get comfortable with their water parameters and then we'll introduce them. Okay, filming this got me so excited that my whole room is now in disarray. But um, let me show you some of the plants that I got. But um, this, is an, this is Monte Carlo, so it's gonna carpet really nicely. And the next plant I got, was this really cool looking banana lily. This thing feels like rubber, I'm not even kidding, but super stoked about this plant. It came in at such a great size, so this is also going in the nano aquarium. But God, when you're waiting for fish to acclimate, it feels like it's taking forever. <laughs> but we've got to get them time, or give them time, and live, bleh, and really, really let them settle in. It's chaotic at the moment, my whole room is just, gone bonkers but yeah okay cool so it's time to add the fish into the nano aquarium you can see these guys are already pretty excited but um where the bucket has kind of been acclimating for the bucket the fish have been acclimating for probably a solid 40 minutes so um i think it's time that we add them in Okay, so these are the fish from the five foot aquarium. We've got the 10 black widow tetras and the silver grami. What I'm gonna do is give this tank a bit of a quick feed because I do know that some of the fish like the Congo tetras and some of the rainbows like to be a little bit too curious about any new inhabitants. So we'll give them a quick feed and then we'll release these guys in. One thing I wanna point out is that you can actually buy extreme foods on livefish.com.au. This is what I've been feeding my fish for kind of like a majority staple. And I gotta say, really love this food. Let's give this tank a quick feed before we release the fish. They are all such gluttons, but while they're distracted, let's quickly grab some of these guys and release them. Okay, all the fish have been caught. Let's put them in. Ah, oh, awesome. They're all so adorable. Now they're kind of gonna 
lose their um, like bearings uh, and get a little bit confused. But once they kind of settle in and really know who's who, they're going to be doing really good. Okay, we're looking at the narrow tank now. It's been a solid probably 24 hours since these guys have been in. And I've got to say, they've settled in so amazingly. But right off the bat, we can see one of the bigger Bolivian rands. I believe that this guy is a male and this little girl here is a female. But he, look how well this guy has colored up. He's displaying his fins. He's eating as well, which is really awesome. And yeah, he settled in really good. This here is one of the fire-tail gudgeons. I've got to say, I absolutely love this species. Um, they're just so unique. You know, they're not the most colorful, but I think being a native species, they have such a unique body shape. And one of the other fish in this aquarium are the croaking garamis, but they are very, very shy. So you kind of have to um, have a bit of an eye out to spot them. They do spend a lot of their time in these plants here. And, um, but, oh, there's one as we speak. You can see this guy, little little dude here, and um, yeah, that's this is how they kind of move. The mood move. They'll kind of sit still, and then they'll just like dart around the tank. But they've got such beautiful colours and just a unique species overall. So really happy about the fish in this aquarium. But let's have a look at the fish in the five foot. Speaking about active, look at these guys. These are some of the black widow tetras that I purchased for this aquarium. They're so small. They're super cute, and it's exactly what I envisioned because we've got all of these kind of long body streamlined fish and you've got these little guys that kind of just contrast and shimmer in the light but you know they're a solid black against white and they really stand out so I really do love them and if you guys can notice in the far back we've got the silver garami and he kind of just does his thing kind of picking at the plants seeing if there's any uneaten food but he settled in really well he shimmers like crazy in the, that, that's a, re stop taking over the shot, move away. <laughs> but yeah, he can, you can kind of see him there and there's a Black Widow Tetra next to him, but he is quite active. He does come up to the front, but uh, at the moment he's not really helping me out and he's, and he's just chilling at the back. But his feelers, his antenna, they haven't been messed at by any of the fish. They're all doing good. And oh, he's coming towards us. I love him. But yeah, he's, he's done really good in this aquarium. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I was really excited, so if I did miss a couple of points here and there, um, I'll make sure to come up with a follow-up video, which really just goes through my experiences on the website, how they ship, and really make it this detailed process. So make sure that you do tune in for that. I want to thank livefish.com.au for sponsoring this video. It really means a lot to me that they were able to kind of value my content as a creator and were willing to help me out. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We're kind of nearing the 200 subscriber mark, so I would really love the extra support from you guys. And make sure that you do give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and hit the little notification bell so you are aware of whenever I upload future videos. I'll have the website for livefish.com.au in the description below, so make sure that you do check it out and get some amazing fish for yourself. Um, as you can see, I was super happy with these fish and it just shows you the quality of shipping and the quality of fish as well because they're all active and they're eating within 24 hours of being added to their aquarium. So really do recommend that you purchase fish from them. And that's it from me. I will see you guys in that next video. Stay happy, stay safe, stay Aussie Australian, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.